So, Mr. Robes 08. I actually um, was just watching your review of the same fragrance that I wore today. And I don't know how old that video was, but man, you look younger than you do now, my friend. I know that's not going to make too much sense because we do get older with time. Uh, we age, but you look <laughs> you look young and virile in that damn um, in that video. <clears throat> yeah. I was just actually watching that before I started to do my um, my review on this, but I decided to go live with this one. So um, it is what it is. Uh, started YouTube when I was 23. Yeah, that was young. When I was 23, man, I was still playing basketball hard, um, working. Uh, let's see. Now I'm in my 30s, so yeah, it makes sense. You in your 30s? I didn't know you were in your 30s. I thought you were a little older than me. I'll be 42 in seven days. Wow. So I guess while I got you in here, um, Mark, if I can call you that, um, I, I did see your review. And so you're saying I look. <laughs> no, I didn't mean no disrespect by it. <laughs> I think it's just the beard. Um, when I saw the video just a while ago, your beard wasn't as um bushy as it is now you know the beard does make a difference but um <laughs> since you in here has your views on um if i'm saying this right oanjan i guess that's the name of it by parfums de marley has your view changed on this fragrance any since you did that review i don't like i said i don't know how long ago it was when you did that review but um i got this uh from a subscriber and i like the fragrance i get what you're saying um how these fragrance companies some of them take bits and pieces from different companies uh popular fragrances and mesh it in to make something of their own um i actually do like this and excuse me i sprayed this on this morning at about five something this morning and it is what going on almost seven o'clock now uh here and it's a faint skin scent on my arm but around the 230 mark it was still um it was still pushing pretty decently i could smell it um so i got about maybe seven and a half seven to seven and a half hours maybe of longevity pushing eight projection off of me was about two hours because it pushed out strong but um let's see what you said no usually i'm not far off when i review i usually wear them quite a bit for my thoughts usually don't move much from my videos okay that's what's up that's very respectable i can get that i can dig that um i haven't been out long enough to um <laughs> what's up um i haven't smelled a lot of the higher end stuff um and the only time i really you know my financial state uh stability is not where it should be um but i'm not able to get a lot of these companies to send me samples of fragrances a lot of them won't do it a lot of them i guess i don't know what the deal is but um, I have great subscribers that always look out for me and they send me samples and decants and stuff 
and um i appreciate them greatly uh i smell some parfums de marley's finally hermes does it so much better in my opinion i haven't smelled a lot from the house of hermes ombre argyle kills it i was in nordstrom not too long ago i did a live stream or video rather from nordstrom's which was my first visit and they had a small parfums de marley section and i i wore cart was it uh which one the one in the red bottle that just came out i can't remember the name of it but i wore that and i like i actually like that one um for me those fragrances smell good i just price point i can't some of that stuff smells like just high-end designer stuff to me and i can't i can't see myself paying that kind of money for them so uh, i did get to spray one on and wear it and it it performed pretty good on me um i have no complaints just like i don't have any complaints with this one um do i see myself paying this price for it no um i've smelled other fragrances that have that same apple pie type vibe and i didn't really pick up on it until i watched your video and i saw um where you said something about apple pie and it clicked in my head right then i was like you know what it does have a slight apple pie type vibe to it but um boss bottle either the original or the intense version does almost the same thing for me so uh price point i don't see it um uh, what's your favorite de marley scent uh parfums de marley smell good but they are unique when you smell thousands of scents it's kind of a letdown when a brand isn't yeah i i actually i'm not tommy i'm not dodging your question but robes mark has a lot of insight on fragrances and i'm, I'm learning it's it's amazing to me that he even jumps in and talks to people like me because i'm a small fry or a small fish in a big a big pond and um i'm trying to absorb everything i can from people like him so um i said that in one of my reviews one time before that all of the fragrances that i've been smelling lately which is why i put kind of a halt on um me buying stuff everything starts to smell the same after a while and i know you have to like maybe move up maybe to niche or indie or something like that and to you know get a different a different flavor in your mouth but a lot of the stuff that i was buying it ended up being the same thing and you always have a sport fragrance a noir you got a uh a, a aqua version you got a uh you know it's always the same kind of stuff but it's in different fragrance houses and it gets linear after a while it gets boring mundane um no small fries i respect anyone who picks up a camera thanks man uh so my favorite parfums the marley scent um i didn't like um what's the name of it uh uh pegasus i didn't like that for some reason i had the original and i had the armoth craze version and for some reason it just didn't do too well with me i mean it performed it was strong it just it's just, to me it was just off-putting i didn't i didn't really care um, maybe Leighton, which is what everybody else says but i think Leighton is probably the best to my nose uh let's see baltimore big man in the building what's going on uh the mayor of detroit what's going on man oh uh, i see mark is familiar with the mayor also um woozy 96 thanks for putting me up on game i'm a beginner in the fragrance game i've been watching your videos like crazy thank you man that's very flattering it, very, it really is 
Uh, let's see. How about them Pistons? It's so sad, man, that I don't even have a favorite NBA team anymore. Um, I was a big fan of OKC when James Harden and uh, Durant and Westbrook and all them guys was there. Um, I was a big Chicago Bulls fan back when Jordan and Pippen and Rodman and all of those guys were there. I was uh, I wasn't a Golden State fan. I just liked Kevin Durant. Uh, Houston, uh, they were okay. Um, I don't know, man. I just right now I don't have a favorite team. I just like certain players. So. Mark, let me get your, your insight on something else also. Because I reached out to um, the House of Zoologists. I don't know if you saw my review on, um, high, on what was it, Hyrax. And I didn't think I was going to like it. But I actually did get one compliment off of that. And I must admit, when I first sprayed it on, it was hard to deal with. But as the day went on, the sweetness... And the fragrance started coming out and it got better to wear and I enjoyed it. So I don't know if you have Hyrex. I know you said they sent you the sample packs and it was like two packs and it was like 10 of them in each pack or something like that. So I got damn near 20 of them and I just didn't expect to like it so far. I have a bunch more I need to review, but, um, I guess your initial first impression uh, that I saw the other day when you did T-Rex, you liked that one. So I'm just curious, are you um, interested in more from that house? Bro, you basically Harton's twin. I wish I had his money. Um... I bought a bottle of Hyrex off one minute of the skin. Yeah, I like, I like, I didn't like Hyrex at first when I first sprayed it. It was very hard for me to wear because my nose isn't like I'm used to the cheaper fragrances, the more, well, I don't like saying cheap, but the more inexpensive fragrances, um, stuff that I can actually afford to buy. And when I first sprayed it on, I was like, I don't know. I let my friend smell it the night before and she didn't like it either. And then the next morning when I got up, I was like, you know what? This is for my subscribers. I owe them this. And um, I sprayed it on. I went ahead and went through full sprays. I did like seven sprays of it. And um, she looked at me and I had that look on my face like, man, I just messed up. And she was like, what'd you do? You sprayed it on, didn't you? I was like, yep, I, I fully committed. And I actually enjoyed it. Prada Luna Rosa Extreme, Extreme. I don't have that one. Picked up Casual Life, Good Juice. Yeah, I have Casual Life. Um, it's okay, that coffee and I think cardamom or whatever is in it. It's a little strong at first, but when it dries down, it turns nice. Uh, Centitar, what's up, man? Uh, yeah, it's not really mass appealing. Yeah, I did not expect, honestly, to get that one compliment. Um, my friend actually didn't like it, like I said, at first. And later on in the day, we was going to lunch. And I guess the wind was blowing it towards her. And she was like, you smell really. Scent of the night, Frank Oliver. Ooh, vanilla. Cheapy but goody. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot about Frank Oliver lately. I you say it. I never realized it was an I in his name at the end. Um... I want to get my hands on um what is it uh that Versace I think it's the Oud one I've been hearing a lot about that the mayor of Detroit uh, let's see Matthew Dean what's your favorite niche juice you sampled so far um uh, 
definitely not going to go with the obvious, which is Creed because of uh, uh, Ventus, because um, that's a dead horse that's been beat one too many times. And I'm frankly a little bit burnt out on Creed, Aventus. Um, I have smelled some of their other uh, fragrances when I was in Nordstrom's. I didn't like the Vetiver one. That was a little bit too much for me. But all of the other ones were good. I did finally get to compare Millicent Imperial to some other clones of it. And they are close. Uh, but my favorite would probably be niche wise. Hmm. I may have to change my answer on this one because I have to go back. I, I've I've went through so many niche fragrances so far, sample wise, but um. I would probably say Creed's um, not Silver Mountain Water, not Green Irish Tweed. It wasn't Millicent Imperial. It was something else I smelled from Creed. I can't remember the name of it right now, but it smelled when I smelled it in the store. It smelled great, and I can't remember the name of it right now. Scented tar, me too. Original vetiver, yeah. Original vetiver was not uh, a go for me. I sprayed it on a tester strip and smelled it and it was just too much. It's not my style. That's for someone more gentlemanly. Um, it just wasn't for me. Um, German Ortega, cheap sense when you're going a video of your collection. Um, I've done a few in the past, but my collection has upgraded since then. So I may do another one. I, I don't really like showing off my collection like that because I don't want people to get the wrong impression and think that they have to run out and buy all these different fragrances just because, you know, their favorite reviewer has it or something like that. I don't want to give off that that kind of impression. I'm, I'm a very humble person. I, I did buy a lot of my stuff. A few of my fragrances towards the end, like the past few months, have came from other subscribers, like the mayor of Detroit. Uh, I, I mentioned this a lot. He sent me a, a full bottle of Dior Sauvage Eau de Parfum. I had some other subscribers send me some stuff. Matt gave me a full bottle of Dior Homme Intense um, in a trade that we did. Like, I get stuff. I used to get a lot of stuff all the time. Now I get, like, a lot of decants and samples and stuff, which is still cool. But, um... I'll do another video and, and, and show the collection off a little bit, but I don't like to brag and I don't like to feel like I'm showing off or nothing like that. Uh, let's see. You tried Versace Man. Yeah, I did a video. I did a review on it not too long ago. I actually wore it. It was a few weeks ago, I think it was. In the purple bottle. I have it. Uh, it actually came in a trade that I did for, uh, with a subscriber that was in Miami. And he said it doesn't get cold enough down there to wear it. He was looking for something more fresh, um, more for the warm weather. And we did a trade. So, yeah, I got it. And I like it, too. Um, what fragrance, fragrance have you been loving? Lately that I've been reviewing, to be honest with you, um, some of the performance on some of the things that I've been wearing hasn't been the best, but the smell has been great. Um, even the one I wore today, this uh orangean or orangean or however you say it from parfums de marley it wasn't bad either i like that too creed royal water that might have been the one i was talking about that i couldn't remember the name of but that's a nice one i smelled all the creeds that they had in the store um it's irish spring soap 
I don't love Creed with you for the price either. Yeah, I don't like the price of that stuff either. I, I can't afford it, period. Um, but some of them are pretty nice in smell. I don't know about the performance on a lot of that stuff. I just know about Creed, um, Millicent Imperial, and um, Silver Mountain Water. I don't know about the rest of them, like, personally. But I have samples of some of that other stuff. Um... He did a video a couple of times. No, I smelled Himalaya when I was at the store and it actually smelled like the fake Himalaya that I ended up with that somebody did a trade with me a while back. I gave them a pop, uh, pineapple vintage that somebody sent me that actually I think it, it went bad. It was it didn't smell good. It smelled spoiled like something was bad in it. And this person wanted to trade. Um, it was like a partial bottle of Creed Himalaya, and I was just excited to get a Creed period to have the bottle in my possession. And we traded, and I ended up finding out that the Creed was was fake. And I wasn't upset about it because, you know, the Parfums Vintage that I sent him was spoiled, and he knew that something was wrong with it. So to me, it was like an even trade, and it actually smelled just like Himalaya that I smelled in the actual store that Soul Creed, um, it's just the one I have. You could tell it was watered down or weak or fake version. So um, it smelled good, but I, it wasn't my favorite. <laughs> smash that like button. Yes, sir. Smash the like button or the dislike button. It really don't matter to me either one. I just want people to be more active in the live streams and the videos uh alfonso smith it's the one with the oud in it by creed i'm not a big fan of oud if oud is the dominant note in a fragrance i'm probably not gonna like it because i have a oud fragrance and i went back and um looked at that video again and i'm not a fan of um oud like that um a good cheapie is Tama Bahama St. Kitts. I've seen that. My favorite from Tommy Bahama, in which the performance isn't that great on Tommy Bahama fragrances. I like Set Sail Martinique. I like St. Bart's. And I like Maritime. Those are the three particular ones that I have that I like. Um, Baltimore Big Man, how do you feel about Creed's Viking? I like Viking. That's actually another one that was high up there when I finally got to get my nose on Viking. I like that. And I, I actually want Viking. I can't afford it. Uh, the mayor of Detroit sure is Matthew. Brian Wade. Maybe Royal Oud. It might have been. Tommy Mills. Yeah, Creed is very pricey. So I go to Armoff. If I want something Hunter Intense. Yeah, I I was a big fan of Armoff, but Armoff's, Armoff has a tendency to take fragrances that aren't popular anymore and put them in a different um, packaging or bottle and rename it something else. So you have to be careful with what you buy. Um, another company that does something similar that I noticed is uh, Zara, the House of Zara. They do the same thing. Uh, but yeah, um, Club de Nuit Intense Man, um, Trace Nuit, Le Parfait, Seville, I think Voyage Brown. It might have been one other that I have or had, but if it wasn't those main ones, I didn't try a lot of that other stuff. And I did get to smell the original Hunter, the one that smelled kind of peachy, that was in that light tan looking bottle. I like the smell of that. I don't know what the performance was like on it. I just smelled it in store. Um, you got Mont Blanc Spirit Legend and Mont Blanc Legend Night. Yes, I do. I have both of those. I actually just got uh, Mont Blanc Spirit 
and legend knight is one i picked up not too long ago but that spirit i never smelled it before i don't think until i got it a couple days ago and i love the scent of that but i have another fragrance that smells almost identical to it which is a to me. um loving the video this is from hip-hop number one and comment from time to time what are some of your other interests outside of fragrance nothing besides my kids i used to be a big 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 basketball player i played basketball damn near every day if i could but my knees and my ankles went bad and i don't even go and like shoot the ball around anymore i just i don't do too much of anything I, I work two jobs monday through friday i'm off on the weekend so i'm mostly relaxing or chilling with my kids um, so I really don't have any other passions outside of fragrance right now. <clears throat> Al Hermain has been my go-to fragrance house. Yeah, I've I have um what is it? Uh uh the Creed clone, the Creed Aventus clone. La Venture. Somebody gave me a partial bottle of that. Um other than that, I don't think I smell anything else from that house, but I heard they were pretty solid. Do you like celebrity fragrances? If so, which ones? I like Usher. That smells good. It just doesn't perform well. I like um, the Jay-Z Gold. That's a great smelling fragrance. It doesn't perform well. Surprisingly, I picked up Kanye West off of uh, Whatever It Takes from big beard business when he did one of his videos when i first started and he did one of those in store i think it was like a 40 dollar um challenge or something like that and he picked up whatever it takes from kanye west and i didn't expect him to like it and for some reason he liked it um so i went out and i actually ran into it one day and i bought it and it actually has a very nice smell it has like a great you know how the pack, the great Kool-Aid pack, when you rip it open and you get that smell out of it, it kind of smells like that. But then it dries down to a real nice vanilla fragrance. It has decent performance. It's not bad. Um, runs you about 15, 20 bucks. I'm not advising anybody to go pick it up or anything like that, but it's not a bad fragrance. Trust me. Um, I'm not going to vouch for anything that I haven't had or worn before. I don't have it anymore, but... Um, it's not bad. Um, what else? Celebrity fragrance. I smelled that Ariana Grande um, when me and Matt did the, the video not too long ago in Florida. I think it's called Cloud or something like that. That is a heavenly, not heavily, heaven, like oh, heavenly smelling fragrance. I love that fragrance. He sprayed it on a tester strip. And it lit up the whole area and it just smelled so gorgeous. And I personally would wear that. I like that. That's nice. And it's supposed to smell like another popular men's fragrance or something like that. I'm not sure. But it smells great. I love it. Um, it's some other fragrances that I like from celebrities. But for the most part, they cool. Um, I did not like... Uh, what's the name of it? Uh, Damn, I can see it in my head right now, but I can't remember the name of it. It might have smelled in my life it, on the dry down because I think it has like like some kind of fruit in it, like guava or something like that. And it it had like a sour, almost kind of vibe, like spoiled fruit or something kind of vibe. It didn't. I got compliments when I wore it, but it just off of me, it didn't smell great. um do you know any good female fragrances to get as christmas gifts i just talked about one go find ariana grande i think it's called cloud it the bottle looks funny as hell but that shit smells amazing and i don't vouch for a lot of female fragrances but that one is gorgeous i love it uh scent quest nice live thanks man 
I'm glad you tuned in too. Uh, Jamie, CH, good girl. Most women have it. Also, black opium by YSL. I smelled black opium in um Coles not too long ago, and oddly enough, I like black opium or opium or whichever one, the men's version. I like it. Um, Zara definitely do that. I recently picked up unexpected. Fresh, spicy, smells a lot like Spice Bomb Extreme. Yeah, I, I don't know if any of y'all are familiar with a guy named Martin Martinez. Uh, I watch a lot of his videos, and he talks about hardly nothing but Zara fragrances. He can tell you anything you need to know. He, he goes, he's starting to back away from it now because it's becoming redundant bias, he says. Um, they they are big let down. They're not as strong as they used to be. They don't perform well, and it's just I guess to him it's getting tiresome spending you know fifteen twenty bucks or whatever he's spending. Like when you're constantly going to the store and you buy and buy and buy and now you got a whole like collection of all these fragrances that aren't worth a damn. It's not worth it anymore. Um, man, whatever it takes smells so good. I wear it to work and I get big compliments. Yeah, I, um, I wore it for a little while, but you know, the more fragrances that you pick up, you don't tend to reach backwards. You reach forward. And, um, that's something that's kind of hard for me to do. Cause I don't like wearing the same fragrance over and over and over. Um, somebody, a wise person said that you should, a man should never smell the same every day. And I believe in that. Um, I have a co-worker, like I said before, that wears Invictus Intense, Invictus, um, all day, every day. And after a while, people will get burnt out on it. They get tired. They smell you coming, and they, oh, my God, he got it on again. Um, the world is bigger than just those, you know what I'm saying, couple of fragrances. I know people have signature scents, fragrances that they love. But I don't like to wear the same stuff over and over and over. So, uh, Scent Quest, Kanye 2024, Baltimore Big Man. I'm hooked on some of these Tom Ford fragrances. I'm going to be on the lookout for some cheaper alternatives. Yeah, there are a lot of cheaper alternatives out there. You just have to keep your eyes open for them and do your homework, which is why a lot of us reviewers do what we do. We're supposed to be the guys for you all not to make the same mistakes that we did um but you know it is what it is man there are a lot of alternatives out there some great ones too but you know tom ford in itself is great i, I visited tom ford um when i was in uh florida not too long ago and their tom ford section was amazing i got to smell a lot of different fragrances from tom ford they just expensive um hip hop number one flower bomb Vic, victor and rolf uh the only i think i've smelled like two fragrances from victor and rolf i have the original spice bomb um which trace check him out oh uh he sent me a little teeny tiny cute little bottle but before he sent that i already found a bottle of spice bomb and got it so Let's see. What is that? Adam Levine cologne. That one smelled a little old. Yeah. Fresh spicy is pretty nice. One of stronger ones, but definitely Zara for casual wear. Yeah, the only ones I have from Zara that I like, I have Rich Warm and I have the other one. Uh, I can't think of the name of it. It was from their tobacco collection. Those are the only three that I have that are very potent, strong, long lasting and the rest of that stuff i didn't care nothing for nothing really caught my attention uh rock aware evolution is a good winter fragrance that's a hidden gem yeah i don't think i've seen that one too much in these parts i i had um that 3 a.m by sean john but it wasn't all that to me i actually ended up giving it away or trading or selling it or something um jj What's up, everyone? New subscriber. What's up, man? Thanks for the subscription. 
Hip Hop Number One. Peace out for now, Mr. Cheap Sense. Keep up the great content. I hope the channel keep growing. Yeah, me too. Thanks, man. Bro Sense. Man, what's up, Keith? You're not congratulating your boy Matt on his 500. Yeah, I already did. Before I started my live, I was already over there. I just stopped in because I seen it pop up on the screen. And I said congrats, and I got up out of there because I got my own thing I wanted to do. But, um... What is the best spicy fragrance out there? That I couldn't tell you because I haven't smelled a lot of stuff. Like I, a lot of y'all think that that I've been around the block. I've only been doing this about a year, and it's a lot of stuff I haven't even touched yet. Um, there are some good spicy ones out there. Um, I have to be in front of my collection to see what I have personally, though. Uh, bro sense okay my friend yeah man um i'm up on current events trust me anytime somebody that i'm subscribed to puts out a video i always get notification and i go check it out i may not always comment i may not always you know i always hit the like button but i may not always comment i might just you know jump in and see what's up and then you know dip out baltimore big man mr invictus yeah that's him Somebody actually told him, uh, this young lady, I think I did a video on Instagram, and this young lady that uh, works at the hospital, she must have saw the video and went back and told him what I said. And he came to me, he was like, man, she told me that you said something about me wearing Invictus all the time and all this stuff. And I said, yeah, I said it on video. I said, I'll pull it up and show it to you. Like, it ain't no big thing. I mean, if that's what you like, that's what you like. I just feel like you wear it too much. I can't even wear my Invictus or Invictus Intense because he wears his every day. So, but it's played out now at the hospital, so I wouldn't even want to. Um, JJ, anyone try Cream Old Spice and Black Vanilla? Yeah, I've heard a lot of people talk about that. The only two I own personally is uh the one matt gave me which is uh bergamot and musk and i think i found blue cedar and cypress the other day and i got that one um i may have smelled one or two other ones but i'm not sure what they were uh, but if you didn't see my video the other day bergamot and musk and it's another one that's discontinued now uh, we've checked Matthew Deem about to head out, going to pick up that cloud fragrance for my girlfriend for Christmas. Keep up the good videos, Keith. Thank you, man. Um, if you can smell it first before you purchase it, don't just always take, not just mine, but anybody else's opinion on it. Always do your own homework. Just because I love the fragrance doesn't mean that you're going to like it or you're only going to like it. Test it out first, but still... I personally love it, and I personally would wear that fragrance for myself. We actually um, met when I was recording in the store in Coles. He actually asked the young lady about the fragrance, and I told her to her face that I would wear it. She said she couldn't see her man wearing it or nothing like that, but I would. But I'm not, I'm not in a box like that. I like to think outside the box. And once again, we have 21 viewers, 20 viewers now, and 10 likes. Well, they dropping off now, 17. So, ooh, you put me on the spot. Uh. I would have to go back through my decants because I've um you have pure Havan. No, I don't. I wish I could smell it though. Uh hit the like button. I will have to go back through my decants because just by going what I have off my shelf, I would say Bentley for men intense, but I've smelled 
other fragrances that other subscribers have sent me decant wise of tobacco fragrances and there are some way better ones out there than bentley for men intense um aramis the tobacco reserve is pretty good if you're looking for something more inexpensive um John Varvatos, I think it's either Dark Rebel or Dark Rebel Rider. I have Dark Rebel Rider. That's not bad. Platinum is pretty good. That's a few. Yes, that um, 1984 is a Beast Mode fragrance. I think I have that one too. 18 viewers and 12 likes. Y'all can do better than that. Come on now. Y'all sitting here in front of this, y'all cameras, TVs, and phones. All it takes is for you to tap that button. You're already here. Um, you once showed a decanting tool. What is the name and where can I find it from? Um... I didn't have a tool, if you want to call it that. It was just a syringe. Um, you can pick up just regular syringes. You don't have to have the needle. You just need the syringe itself. And as long as it fits when you pull the top off of your fragrance, you might have to stick like a small screwdriver or a knife or something to open it up a little bit, the tip. But as long as it fits over that atomizer top, not the actual top piece that the spray comes out of you have to take that off but the nozzle that it sits on top of as long as it fits securely on that all you got to do is pull up on it and it'll suck the juice out um there's many ways to decant i just don't do a lot of it because i don't have bottles but yeah if you can find you just some regular old syringes at like a you know walmart or wherever you don't need the needles you just need the syringe the bottle part We even now 14 viewers, 14 likes. That's what's up. So being that we got 14 viewers in here right now, 15 now, um, it's fluctuating. What let me know what all what fragrances you all wore today. As you already know, I had on um I guess I'm saying Oajan by Parfums de Marley. Uh, who some of your favorite reviews or reviewers are you trying to say? Because you said reviews. Um, if you're talking about reviewers, um, I like Mark Robes08, who was in here earlier. Um, Joy Amin, Big Beard Business. Um, I like Tiff Benson, Simply Put Sense. I like I like everybody. There there's not a lot of reviewers that I don't like. I don't watch a lot of their content because it's sometimes they talk about niche and indie and stuff that I can't really afford. So I don't tune into a lot of that stuff. And I'm not one of them people who goes in the comment section and oh my god, you're talking about, you know what I'm saying? That's their channel. They do whatever the hell they want to do with it. If I don't like something or I don't like the content, I just don't watch. And Later on, they might do something that I will watch. So, but I like everybody. I don't watch a lot of people's stuff. Like, I don't watch a lot of Jeremy Fragrance's stuff anymore. Big Beard Business, I don't watch a lot of his stuff anymore. Um, I like Ashton from Jensen. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, I don't watch a lot of his content. Um, it's a few others out there. I, I like... Um, What's her name? Alzheimer's kicking in. Ava. Ava Monroe. I like her. Um, Demi. I like her. Um, who else? Fragrance Journey. I like Mr. Smelly. He's pretty funny to me. A lot of people don't really like his content. I guess his sarcasm or whatever but i like him 
Uh, I like Sentitar, um, Mr. Miami Cuddles. I had to warm up to him though, because uh, you know he's very opinionated and he does things how he does them. So it is what it is. You have to take it for what it is or don't take it at all. And you know some things I can tolerate, some things I can't. But I don't dislike him. Uh, Trey Sense. Um, I like Matt's content. Uh, Ross from TLTG, but I'm on the fence a little bit now. It's personal reasons for me. I don't have anything, any beef with him. It's just for me, something personal. Um, who else? Uh, I like um Trey Sense, Bro Sense, uh Civilized Redneck, Motivated Living, uh Cali Gent has just got started. I like some of his content so far. Um Sam Broom. I'm trying not to leave people out, but you know, it's a lot of a lot of people out there that I can't even remember all of their names, but I like everybody in the fragrance community. Like I said, I just don't watch a lot of people's content if it don't like my financial stability is not to where they're going to refer something and then I'm going to go out and buy some Tom Ford or some Creed like that's no. If I know I can't afford to buy it, I'm not even going to watch the content. It's just not for me. Uh Savage EDT I like Dior Sauvage. I didn't at first. Uh, what fragrances you think going to be in the next most complimented list? Um, it's kind of hard to say. Armoff Hunter. Baltimore big man. I just hit the like button. My bad. Totally forgot. But I normally do first thing. It's no, it's really not a big deal, man. I mean, it's more, it's not for me. Excuse me. It's more or less for um YouTube to know what kind of job us as reviewers are doing. That's all it is. Uh scent of the day, Prada Loom. I have yet to get my hands on any of those Prada fragrances, man. I have heard so much good stuff about them, and I just I don't have the money for it. But hopefully I'll get myself together and be able to get some of those. Uh, scent of the day. KC Black. Uh, Savage is starting to be too peppery. That's what my issue was when it first came out. It was too peppery. That's why I bought um, Ventana from Armoth because it took away that peppery aspect. Um, but you still got the 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 uh, the Ambroxan type vibe, and it smelled almost identical to me. But you know, La Venture by Al Haramain, Aventus Clone, Jamie, I feel you. That niche game is a little out of my league. A little out of my league is not the word. It's out of my league. Period. As of right now, I'm not going to say that sometime in the near future, I won't be financially stable enough to afford something. Um, but hopefully I can get back to that point. But for now, I can't do it. Uh, man, you really put me on with that arm off Derby goal. I get so many compliments. Yeah, that man. Listen, I had Mont Blanc. Well, I actually have it now. I got it again. I, I actually sold my Mont Blanc Legend because I had Derby Clubhouse Gold. It smelled way better to me. I mean, it did have like a metallic type vibe. Legend probably is a little bit smoother. But man, that Derby Clubhouse Gold was serious. And I actually sold mine and I shouldn't have. But I think it's a Silver Mountain Water Cologne. Um, I haven't worn it much, though. Uh, I had Owan John swapped it for Zaharoff. That's what's up. Um, that Zaharoff signature pour on is nice. Um, George, actually, whoever the perfumer was for him, did a great job on that. Uh, 
uh, scent of the day, Mont Blanc Legend. You turn me into a fan with that one. I always tune in. Thanks, man. I'm glad I could help. Alfonso Smith, have you heard of what is that? I think I seen that Alfonso at uh, Marshall's one time and I almost bought it. Is that the one that come in the tin can? It's like a white tin can with some writing on it. I think I seen that one time and I almost bought it and I put it back. Scent Quest. I walked into a washroom and the air freshener smelled like swatch. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I remember your well silver video. I love that stuff. I didn't like um the other flankers to that. I like the gold version. It smelled. I think it smelled like like uh one million or something like that. I I actually like the gold version. The I think it was the silver, and it was one other one they had that I didn't like. I bought them and I took them right back. Uh, please do a Mont Blanc house review. I don't know how much Mont Blanc that I have left. A lot of that stuff I got rid of. Why? I don't know. But um, I'll do what I have. Lanier Smith is a good viewer. Baltimore big man. YouTube is acting crazy. I'm not seeing a lot of my people I'm subscribed to as much as I used to. Especially the fragrances. Haven't seen the fragrance runner in a minute. Yeah, um, I like the fragrance runner. I'm gonna I'm say this. <clears throat> At first, when I first started seeing his videos pop up, I thought he was an asshole. I, and I guess it was because I didn't know the backstory behind him and Jeremy Fragrance. But until I heard his, the backstory and I actually talked to the guy before um through a live stream rather he a pretty uh chill dude he pretty laid back he just like me he minds his own business uh goes about doing what he got to do and get the hell out the way um i haven't seen a lot of his stuff either i think he does a few here and there it's a lot of the older reviewers that are just stepping back a little bit and i think some of it is because the fragrance community is a little bit crowded i know a lot of us came in at one time uh, like flooded the you know like overran the floodgates and i think some of those reviewers are not saying that he is but i'm just saying some of the older reviewers just probably aren't feeling it that anybody could just jump in front of the camera and just talk about whatever and you know what i'm saying back when they were doing it it was only a handful of those guys doing it and you know it was a lot easier for them now it's kind of hard but you know, I get it. I understand. Um, but my thing is also, as some of those elder reviewers, I think some of those guys and gals should reach back and try to help some of the smaller reviewers give, like, give knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all have so much knowledge. That's why I asked Robes08 so many questions when he was in here earlier. Um, he's the OG like he's been doing this for years now like he's one of the first ones to jump out there and do this and for him to even come in my live conversations and you know say whatever he say even if he just comes in and says hey and bye that's fine with me but if i can get any kind of information any insight out of him or anybody else like steven from red adolescence and all of them guys i'm cool with that but a lot of those people don't reach out they don't reach back and you know what i'm saying they i guess some people feel like they don't have to they shouldn't or whatever but you know they don't have an obligation not to me to do it but i would love to see that more often and i appreciate people like robes 08 um who come mont blanc good for fancy pens some of the bigger guys have been taking some time off yeah i can i can see that um people are taking breaks a lot of people are stepping back a lot of a lot of the reviewers like i said it's a lot of different reasons man you know i kind of felt like i wanted to take a, a a you know a little month or so off and take a break from this but i gotta keep my foot on people's neck 
uh, Civilized Redneck. What's up, Keith, everyone? What's up, man? I mentioned you a little earlier. Uh, somebody asked who are my some of my uh, favorite reviewers, and I told them I like everybody. I I I, I actually get along with everybody. Um, I don't have an issue with them. I just a lot of content that people talk about. I don't just I just don't watch. If you're talking about uh, the more expensive fragrances that I know I can't afford, I don't tune in. If you're talking about some cheapies that I already done had before that I've bought, used, and or given away or traded away or sold or whatever, I don't tune into those. It has to be something that I haven't seen or heard about before that, that I tune in for. Um, collab with Jeremy Fragrance. I wouldn't mind doing a collab with anybody, period. Um, you know, my finances just aren't where they need to be. Like, I can't just get on a plane or, you know, whatever and just fly to whoever or drive to whoever. I don't have the money for it. But I would love to do some collabs with a lot of people. Um, if we can hook it up to where we can do, you know what I'm saying, the, the video live with each other, like Cali Reviews and all that we did that time, I'd love to do that. I would love to, to do one with Sintitar and Civilized Redneck and everybody. I don't, I'm not one of those guys who you know what i'm saying um what's the word i'm looking for it it really doesn't matter to me i like i'm down for whatever i got somebody right now who wants to do a collab with me that uh he has to set it up though um i work two jobs monday through friday so when i'm at my second job i can do a live and i'm off on the weekend so it's whatever like me and Trey Sense are trying to get together and do something. Me and Sam Broom are trying to lock in and do something. Me and Matt are always doing collabos. I would love to do stuff with other people. Um, Ever smell Herod? Yes, I did a video on that not too long ago. You need to go check that out. Appreciate the kind words. Humble. Anytime, man. I have no problem with that. None whatsoever. I respect everybody as long as they respect me um i don't have no issue with nobody uh the carolina fragrance guy would be fun to do a collaboration with i don't know who that is but i don't i wouldn't mind doing one uh love we'll make it happen man yes Sintar. anytime you ready man it don't matter to me just let me know when and where. I feel you. I want to get to that point too. Alfonso, I feel like we can get something. Everybody, Aaron, 94K. Yeah, I don't have an issue with anybody. I, I asked, actually, Mr. Miami Cuddles invited me to come to Miami and do one with him. And I would love to go and do one in miami uh once i get my finances straight i have the vehicle i can get up and down the road a trustworthy car i just need the money and trust me i will be there in a heartbeat to do a video uh i think we can get something and information from everyone even you yeah i mean i have some knowledge i'm not the best reviewer in the world i say that in a lot of my videos i'm not the most knowledgeable person a lot of this stuff i'm just you know smelling for myself and like i said i have some of the best subscribers that you know me and trey sense talk more than than anybody period we talk if not almost every day it's like every other day and we were actually talking when I was coming to work. And he tells me all the time, him and Sam Broom, he says, man, out of everybody, all the reviewers, he said, your, rev your reviewers seem to be the most. I don't have all these fancy lights in the background. I don't have like expensive cameras and, you know what I'm saying? Like Outlaw Frags got three or four cameras set up and nothing wrong with that. I'm not, I'm not dissing nobody. Fancy lighting. I don't have fancy cameras. I don't have all this fancy editing. I don't have intro music and outro music and all this stuff. I jump in, in front of the camera and I guess 
I don't step on toes. None of that. The only time I snap is when people come at me sideways, and y'all know that. I respect everybody. So, I mean, it is agree with, and I actually got butt hurt by it because I, I really don't even want to go back through that. I just didn't like something that he said, and it just took off from a different direction. Now, he didn't fall into the trap. He did try to troll me with something, but, you know, it is what it is, man. But I still got respect for the guy and what he does, and he's where he is now because of what he does. So apparently it works for him. Carolina fragrance reviews. I don't know if I know who that is though. I'm gonna have to look into him. I'm gonna check that out. Uh, your reviews are brutally honest. Love your stuff. Thanks, man. I mean, I don't try to be brutal with it. I just give my honest opinion. I, I'm not gonna sit here and and say, you know, something sucks. Like that's the wrong thing to do. I don't want to give that impression to somebody. But I will tell you that it's just not for me um it don't perform well yada 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 like i that's just me i think i think honestly speaking a lot of reviewers get free stuff and they feel obligated to like not tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth so help me god and i call it kissing ass is what i call it i don't kiss ass just because somebody sent me like if george zaharoff would have sent me the fragrance that he sent me and i love signature pour on by zahara if i would not have liked that fragrance i would have said i didn't like it but i personally could not find anything wrong with that fragrance it performed great it smells damn good the bottle is great it may be a little bulky for some people with smaller hands but i'm six foot four and i have big hands so it doesn't bother me the packaging was was good i didn't find anything wrong with it if i would have found something wrong i would have said that but i didn't just like i versace man o fresh excuse me everybody around me likes that fragrance they say it smells great coming off of me and all day long i'm walking around and i'm smelling like ray roach spray i guess it's the star anise that's in it or whatever that gives that off-putting vibe to me. To me, it smells like Ray Roach Spray. And I hate walking around smelling like that all day. But I love the fact that everybody around me tells me that it smells great. And I said that in my video. I say it all the time. Anytime that Versace Mano Fresh pops up in a video of mine, I always say that it gives me a Ray Roach Spray vibe. And I know a lot of people don't get that, but I do. That's just me. Um, I feel like you could collab with Scent Nation. Yeah, me and um, he actually was one of the ones I actually was talking to. I think before I even started conversating with um, Trey Scent, I don't know what's going on with him now. He doesn't reach out to me like he used to. Um, and I feel like Scent Explore kind of changed some people. Um, I'm not going to go into detail with that, but I have discussed that with, with, you know, a few other reviewers that I talked to and I feel like scent Explorer did change some people and change is good, but I don't like when people forget where they came from just because you went to an event and you met some people and they might've inspired you to do more or better things. You don't forget about the people that were just, you were just rubbing elbows with down here at the bottom with us. And even though I'm almost, I'm at somewhere around 1,500 subscribers, which really isn't a lot compared to some of the other ones, I don't feel like I'm on a pedestal because I still converse, converse with the new people coming in. If they ask me for advice or, you know what I'm saying, my knowledge on something, I'm going to give it to them. I still talk to Trey Sense. I still talk to matt from georgia gent i still talk to civilized redneck and whoever messages me or whatever i talk to these people trey sent he has he has my phone number we talk me and um um 
um, what's his name? Um, God damn it, I can't remember. Just talked to another subscriber Saturday, I think it was, and he gave me some his opinion on what he think I should do. <clears throat> but I mean, anytime anybody want to reach out to me and talk to me, and you want my number, just ask for it. Ain't no big deal. I give it to you. I mean, you just be reasonable about the hours that you call. You know what I'm saying? Don't call me at like no 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm not going to pick up the damn phone. But anytime during the day from 6 to, you know, whatever, I'm good. I'm always available. People know that. They hit me up all the time. If they in a Ross or a Marshalls, TJ Maxx, they'll hit me up on, you know, video chat and say, hey, man, this is what they got. What do you see? And I'll point out to them what, what's good or what I think is not good or worth it. Uh, people send me pictures of colognes and shit like that. I'm always accessible. I always answer. I always respond. So, you know. Um, I like to do reviews, but my taste and fragrances wouldn't jive with the masses. You never know, man. Put it out there and see. I mean, not everybody likes the same things. Um, a lot of people may not like some of the stuff that I wear, but that's not going to make me not do my reviews. The hell with that. It's always somebody out there who's going to value your opinion on something. So that's for Duncan Spate. Um, you just got to do what you got to do, man. <clears throat> Are you addicted to fragrances? I know other YouTubers open up about... I was... I'm not anymore. Um, I had that itch where every single time I had some money in my pocket, I was running back and forth to the store. Like I would just leave Ross or TJ Maxx or whatever. And like I go home, I'd open up a fragrance, smell it. I would do a review on it. And then like 20 minutes later, I get that itch and I run right back to the same store that I just left that didn't have anything. Why are you back and forth and in them stores? I don't do that like I used to. Now I do it for the fun. I like to travel to different Rosses, TJ Maxx's, and show you in store what's out there. And you know what I'm saying? Like it's the holiday season, and I, everybody already knew what was going to happen. We're going to start finding fragrances that you would nor not normally find during a regular, you know, month of the year. Around Thanksgiving is when the gift sets and all the good shit come out. Like I was in that TJ Maxx not too long ago and I found two bond number nines, even though it was two that people were saying, you know, weren't highly sought after. The point was I found two fragrances that I have personally never seen in store in a rack store. I've seen other reviewers post Creed fragrances, uh, Aqua de Parma's and all this other stuff. I haven't seen none of that stuff. So it's fun to me to go to these stores. It's fun to meet people. It's fun, especially to meet these women and talk to women. And you know what I'm saying? It's fun to get out and venture out and do stuff. I'm not one of those people who's always sitting at home on the computer or on a laptop or whatever. I believe in old school getting out and doing things, doing legwork, seeing what's out there. People, people are, will put you down in a heartbeat and say, Oh, you just wasting time. You're wasting gas. You're wasting energy going to these rack stores. And no, you're not. Because you meet great people. The past two times I've been to TJ Maxx here where I live, I've met two people that subscribe to my channel. Me and Matt went out a couple of weekends ago to some rack stores in Florida, got two new subscribers. Um, I mean, it's the it's all about the fun, man. And I don't see how more people aren't out doing this kind of stuff. Like, you don't have to go to the rack stores, but get out and do something. Venture out and be like, I can't sit still for too long because my legs will get stiff. Um, two step sixty nine. What up? What's up, my man? Um, but yeah, I was um addicted to fragrances. I'm not anymore. I just. You know, whatever people send me nowadays, like decant wise, um, or if somebody's generous enough to send me a full bottle of something, then I'll accept it. Yeah, I'm not going to turn it down, but I'm not like I used to be. I don't have that itch to where I have to go to the store and I have to buy something. I don't have to. A lot of the fragrances these days 
people are just biting each other's styles like it's whatever popping like right now we're talking about ood i'm not a big ood fan but that's what's starting to slide in right now and i don't know what's the next new fad i don't know what's gonna come out next um we had fresh we had fruity we had um aquatic we had all that stuff is like phasing in and phasing out so i don't know what's next but you know uh sent quest i'm probably going to start doing reviews just because i want to write off all these bottles income taxes it gets expensive quick yes it does get real expensive real quick i found that out the hard way i you know people were trying to give me indirectly advice on that like chaos fragrances he did say that um you know it's not probably not a good idea to go out and keep buying all them cheap inexpensive fragrances because you're not really going to wear them that much and stuff like that. And which i find that not just for the cheap ones i find that for any like any level fragrance even even if it's niche i've heard people say they buy you know creed fragrances or whatever and they don't even wear them that much so it's not just the inexpensive stuff it's for all fragrances i i feel like you can fall out of love with all of them i feel like any of them can become mundane to you and you're not reaching for it as much as you used to or it could just be because you keep getting new stuff and you're not reaching backwards you're just reaching forwards for the next the next best thing so yeah it does get expensive real quick um duncan spake it smells like antonio Banderas blue seduction i think i've smelled that before in a store in jacksonville but i'm not too familiar um i've heard some antonio banderas fragrances even though i know that's not what you're talking about right now but i've i've heard some antonio banderas fragrances are pretty decent i just never got into them uh tax right off sent quest i'm already a thousand dollars in and i just started yeah it don't take long um i had at one time i counted almost 400 bottles of cologne and i sat at home one day and i calculated i was like not i'm just saying not don't take the fragrances that cost like dior home intense even though i got it for free it might cost you like 70 80 90 dollars a hundred dollars something like that don't take those fragrances and count those prices if you price everything i had all just say 400 bottles at 20 dollars a piece somebody calculate that right now and tell me how much money that would be um 20 times 400 and tell me in the comments section how much that was and that will tell money i spent on fragrances and that's just at $20. That's not including the fragrance, the one fragrance I had that cost $150. It was actually $500. But the dude had some kind of sale. He was going out of business. And I actually got the fragrance for $150. So if you add $150, um, some of them might have cost $70. I know one of them was $60. Like if you add all those up, <clears throat> Look at how much that would be. Somebody tell me what 20 times 400 is right now. Niche knobs. Um, Scent Land recommended the Antonio Banderas scent. You're right. East Coast rack stores are way nicer than West Coast. Uh, I can believe that because <clears throat> I see a lot of people finding a lot of great stuff, even though those prices are expensive. Like them two little 50 ml bottles of those um, bond number nines that I find found, they were like $70, $80 for 50 ml? Are you serious? Just because they got the bond name on it. Um, I'm waiting for you to make a t-shirt. <clears throat> I want to make a t-shirt and what I might do is one of my subscribers made me a hat and it got Mr. Cheap Sense on it and I need to start wearing it again. Uh, but he also drew a picture of me. I might use that picture and make some t-shirts. I might do that once, once I get some money. Uh, I found those two. And they were in Florida. 
yesterday, I think it was, and I haven't found any aqua de parmas or anything like that. So, uh, Centitar fragrance, caramel, Centitar fragrance, Tonka came. Um, what's his name? Um, Versace. What is it? Hard to enjoy the juice when they're accompanied with an addiction. Yeah, it's more fun now that I'm not out of my mind about fragrances anymore. I love going out and doing leg work and venturing out and, and you know what I'm saying, meeting people like Matt. I, I met Matt in a um in TJ Maxx here. That's how I met him. Chance encounter. I was in the store shopping. I don't know if y'all heard the story before. I was in there just looking around for fragrances, didn't find much, and Matt recognized me, and he walked up to me and asked me, hey, I think I just watched one of your videos a few minutes ago. <clears throat> and, you know, I was all flattered and shit like that, and um, it went from there, man. A, a friendship blossomed out of that, and he actually started doing reviews because of that chance encounter. So... That's why I like getting out and meeting people. Um, I actually met somebody the other night in TJ Maxx, and she was saying that her son, um, he was into something, starting some kind of channel he wanted to do, but he wanted to know about YouTube. And I gave him my phone number. They never called, as far as I know, but <clears throat> it's stuff like that that I love. Uh, she said something like she can't wait to tell her son she met a celebrity. Um, I'm not a celebrity, but I felt flattered by it. Um, I was definitely addicted. I think it's a phase everybody goes through really into fragrances. Thank God I passed that, and I'm now a lot wiser. Yes, I am a whole lot wiser too, Baltimore Big Man. Um, if I would have listened to people like Chaos Fragrances, um, um, Ashton from Gent Sense, and some other people who were trying to spit game, and I was you know too bullheaded to listen to them i'm thinking i just got into this and i'm like man they don't know what the fuck they talk about man i'm not listening to that crap i'm loving these fragrances they smell good and then after a while everything started smelling the same um it just wasn't <clears throat> it just wasn't the same anymore and that's what happened i phased out of a lot of stuff i got rid of a lot of stuff and you know i only buy what i like or i only you know purchase what i like so it is what it is but i get it uh duncan <clears throat> well said my man uh you like jean paul yes i like the jean paul gutier gutier or however you say it and um ultra mall was my favorite it was super sweet and i did not keep it because i had other fragrances that smelled to me similar to it um, i did have lamal which was the first one but since i had a cheaper fragrance which is perry ellis 360 white and it smelled almost identical to it i actually sold my ultra male and lamal to somebody else who would enjoy them uh but yeah I, I don't I don't I haven't smelled anything else from that house like they got LeBeau and um, Popeye Old Fresh and Superman and all this stuff. I've seen one or two in stores the in the Navy one, but I never purchased it because the price was still kind of high on it. But yeah, I like um, Jean Paul Centitar eight thousand dollars, and that goes to show you right there eight grand. That's at the time. When I first started, and I started showing off my collection a little bit, and I kept saying I had, I was counting them as I was getting them, 350, three something. I think I was at like almost 400. And I counted them up one day, and I was like, okay, how much is this? Let me see how much this is. How much money could I get if I sold all of these right now? And I calculated at the time. I think it was a little less than 8,000 at the time. It probably was like six, five or 6,000. But yeah. 8,000 bucks. That's a lot of money that I could have used on something else. Wasted. Um, I like Ultra Mail. 
it's like cotton candy the regular smell smells nice but like a <laughs> like a urinal puck um eight thousand minimum before taxes yes baltimore big man it's funny i try to talk to my talk to my wife about fragrances and she rolls her eyes and starts laughing i guess i talk about it too much to her yeah. um some people find it frivolous i don't know I, I keep losing connection that's why i keep saying stuff over and over and over but um to some people it just doesn't make sense to them why sell off all of my stuff and just keep you know like seven main fragrances and that's it but I just can't see myself parting ways with a lot of my stuff. I, I, it's not sentimental value, but you know, it just is what it is, man. I, some people just don't understand why we do what we do when it comes to fragrances. I mean, with females, we don't understand why they have to have, you know, four thousand purses and they don't even carry them all, or why they got five thousand pairs of shoes. Like that's the same thing with women. So. I mean, it's just like having Jordans. People don't understand why some people have so many pairs of Jordans. I was a Jordan fanatic one time. I had so many pairs. I had them lined up, up everywhere. But fragrances is the same thing, man. And, you know, it is what it is. Uh, if she don't like you talking about it, just ease off a little bit. Um, Duncan Spake 8,000. Uh... Sent quest at Baltimore Big Man. Ha ha. Duncan speak 8,000. I spent over a thousand on Tom Ford <clears throat> when I heard it was getting discontinued. Yeah, don't. That's one thing people don't need to do. Don't fall for that hype when shit gets discontinued. If you can still find it at a reasonable price, then go for it. Like, um, what's the one that's discontinued now? Um, the Guerlain Ideal Cologne <clears throat> it's discontinued and people are out here buying them up by the abundance thinking that the price is going to shoot up and it it possibly could you never know but that fragrance right now runs you between 15 and 20 bucks and if you're dumb enough to go out and buy that fragrance after it's no longer you know you can buy it no longer on the shelves or order it and people are charging you 60 70 100 dollars for that shit and you buying it i wouldn't do it midnight in paris was another one that used to be i, I heard like 20 dollars or you know some cheap number like that i would have loved to have had that fragrance back in the day but I never knew anything about it because I wasn't into fragrances like that. I tried to get it recently, like the past few months, from some of these Facebook groups. And these people are wanting ridiculous amounts of money for that shit, and I don't get it. So don't fall for the hype, man. When fragrances are discontinued, sometimes it's just not worth it. Uh, I spent over a thousand. Yeah. Um how georgia gent is your apprentice <clears throat> um i don't know if i would call him my apprentice and speaking of the devil he's in here now what's up man uh he's not my apprentice but that chance encounter of me and matt or matt and i i should say is just the correct way to say it meeting at that tj max man was a chance encounter and it was humbling for me because you know i never thought that doing reviews i would meet anybody that would know me or recognize me from the fragrance world and it happened and i've met several other people after him uh some of them just you know in store and they just want to know about fragrances and i tell them hey i got a youtube channel but walking into a store and matt saying hey man i just watched your video a few minutes ago you ain't you mr cheap sense and i was like yep that's me um cali reviews in the building what's up man we all move at our own pace yes we do i'm keeping ultra male yeah i mean if you like it keep it i just felt like i had way too many sweet fragrances to just keep that one and if somebody else wanted it and i had it it wasn't no big deal to me man 
uh, Georgia Gent, I, I, I aspire to be as entertaining as Mr. Cheap Sense, honestly. Uh, I appreciate that, Matt. I'm not, um, I don't think I'm as charismatic as people like Cuba knows. Uh, I just jump on here and say what, what is, you know, real and what's honest to me. And people seem to like it. That just is what it is. Um, you know what I'm saying? People know this type of stuff. And I'm not one to, you know, give out bad information or sends me, you know, whatever. You can send me a whole case of them shits. And if any of them don't smell good to me, I'm going to tell you. Simple as that. I'm not finna kiss that company's ass just because they sent me something for free. That's what I don't do. And that's what I was trying to get to earlier. I think a lot of reviewers get this free stuff. And I know some people are going to say, oh, man, you shouldn't say that because it's probably going to hurt you getting something in the... I don't care anymore. I used to care. Like, I see Ross from TLTG got five um, Rosia fragrances. And I was jealous. I was jealous as hell. I ain't going to sit here in front and tell you that I wasn't. Yes, I was jealous as hell. I see people all the time get free fragrances. They get free bottles. Yes, I be jealous as hell. But, hey, what can I do about it? If they don't want to send me anything, I reach out to, to some, some of these companies and they tell me, oh, well, like this one company, I just messaged Thanksgiving night. I messaged like five or six companies. Cremo was the only one who reached out and said that they were willing to send me something. It was another company. I'm not going to say their name because I don't remember. But they sent me an email and said, buy a fragrance from them. They will send me a sample. And if I don't like the sample, then they I can send the, the fragrance back unopened and they'll refund my money. What's the purpose of sending the fragrance with the sample? Just send me the damn sample. It's just that simple, but that was so fucking stupid to me. And I didn't get it. So it is what it is, man. I, I, I don't, I'm not kissing nobody's ass to get no fragrances. I'm not finna sit here and lie to my subscribers and tell them something is great when it's not. That's just not what I'm gonna do. I'm not jeopardizing my integrity for nobody. Um, Cuba Gold, John Paul Gutierrez, and 360 White Smell Assembly. Yes, they do. That's why I said um, 360 White to me smells just like Lamal. And that's one reason why I didn't keep it. Um, Sent Quest at Georgia Gent. Tommy Mills, exactly. Preach, brother. People need to find what suits them. Blind buys are just part of that search. Yes, a lot of people don't recommend blind buying. It's okay to blind buy some things. I don't recommend people going out and spending three, four, five hundred dollars on a fragrance as a blind buy because you might be disappointed. And sometimes you can't return them things when you open them because they don't know whether you did something to it or not. You could have bought it, sucked all the juice out of it, and filled it up with apple juice and tried to take it back. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand. A $20 fragrance, I'm not going to be hurt by versus a hundred. Well, I'll say anything over $50. I'll be hurt by that. But $20, I'm not going to be hurt. If I bought like like a Calvin Klein Eternity Now, I got that the other day and I, I showed it in the video yesterday, matter of fact. And it smells amazing. Everybody knows those fragrances don't perform well. Just because it costs, what, like 20 something dollars? I'm not hurt by it not performing well because I'm one of those dudes who reapply. I would be more upset spending anything over fifty dollars and it not perform because you're spending that kind of money thinking that you're gonna get performance. That's not always the case, and I'm learning that the hard way. Uh, supply and demand. I agree. Discontinued stuff is not worth it. Usually, some people have to have it though. Yeah, um, I'm gonna bring this up right now. I'm not trying to throw this person under the bus, but uh, somebody's wanting um, that Guerlain Edial Cologne, and they made the statement to me that they wanted it because everybody else has it in their collection. That's not the reason to have it. 
Number one, it's just to me a basic citrusy fragrance like any other with a little bit of almond in it. You can get John Varvato's Artisan Pure, which has an almost similar vibe, except I think that Artisan Pure has more like a sparkling type citrus vibe to it. Um, it smells almost the same to me, except it doesn't have that almond note in it. This person can't find it in their stores, but you can order it. I mean, it's but it's not that serious. It's, it's not that serious of a fragrance. It runs you about 20 bucks for, I think, like a 50 ml or something like that. I got the 100 ml bottle, and I only wore it once. It's not that serious. So don't don't get butt hurt by it if you can't find it. Um, it's not that serious of a fragrance to, to, to go out and buy it just because it's discontinued. And you know what I'm saying? People are running out buying it in abundance, thinking that it's going to, you know, be worth $4,000 in the future. It might not even happen like that. It might not even, you know what I'm saying? The price might not even fluctuate like that on that fragrance. So who knows, man? But people have their own reasons for doing stuff. And, you know, I'm not always for it. I really enjoy when you and Matt go out and do y'all thing. Great content. I enjoy doing the videos especially with matt we have a lot of fun man i mean the chemistry is there um i'm a i'm a lot older than he is i'm 40 finna be 42 and i'm still a goofball i like to go out i like to have fun i like to you know look at women and talk shit and you know what i'm saying be playful and you know what i'm saying it's cool man to get out and do stuff instead of sitting at home all day so um do you have a specific game plan or just going with the win uh as far as what uh with the fragrance game or whatever like these videos i would love to be as big as some of these other reviewers uh if it happens it happens if it don't it don't um i don't have money for expansion as far as like buying and lights and you know background but backdrops and green screens and all this kind of stuff i don't have that kind of money so whatever i have so far in this journey i've grinded and clawed and scratched my way to where i am the old-fashioned way and people are gravitating towards that and not the like the i'm not talking trash about anybody but you see people with their collections in the background and these masks and sometimes it just it takes away from what you're talking about because most people aren't looking at you. They're looking behind you and trying to see what all you got on your shelf. You just talking and yapping your mouth, uh, yapping your tongue off, and they're not even paying you any attention. That's one reason why I don't have my collection like that behind me. You can see it in my videos, but you can't really tell what's on my shelf at times. <clears throat> but that's just how it is with me, man. I'm just a basic person um but if it turns if it blossoms into something bigger then yeah I'm, I'm all for it but if it doesn't then i'm content with what i'm doing right now i mean it's right now it's just a hobby just occupying my time and i said this before the fragrance game actually saved my life i said this before i was in a real bad low place in my life rock bottom i didn't have any friends my family wasn't trying to, you know, give me any assistance. The chick I was dealing with, she did a complete 360 on me. She had everybody around me against me. I was like lonely. I was by myself. I was in depression like hell. <clears throat> and I actually wanted to kill myself. I wanted to hang myself off of my balcony right where I stay at. I actually had that thought. And I actually, like I was at work at the hospital one day and i just had the last straw like somebody just walked up to me and just pushed me over the edge by something that, i think i had just shaved off my beard at the time and they was wanting they stopped me in the hallway and was like why did you shave your beard like it doesn't even look right and something in my head snapped and i could feel you know when you feel like you about to cry you can feel it welling up inside of you and my eyes started watering real bad and i just you know 
I darted for the nearest break room and I got on the phone and I'm calling my ex-wife <clears throat> and I ain't gonna lie me and my ex-wife we get along just fine we do have our you know ups and downs still but she's still my best friend and I call her on the phone and as soon as I heard her voice now my eyes feel like they want to well up with water um <clears throat> She was like, oh my God, what's wrong? And I told her, I said, I don't want to be here no more. And she was like, be where at your job? And I was like, no, I was like, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be alive no more. And she was like, no, no, no. She was like, oh no, we're not doing that. She said, your kids need you. Your kids love you to death, whatever, whatever. She said, you need to snap out of that. She said, whatever you got going on, you need to snap out of that mess leave that girl alone if she don't want to be with you then move on about your business and i don't know how i even started going to the store and I, like i i don't know I, I think it popped up on my feed one day somebody did a review i can't even remember who it was and i started watching them and i got interested by them and then i started going to the rack stores i think big beard business did it first and then i ran into scent nation his videos and then he was doing the rack store videos and then i started going and that's where my i think my love for fragrances came from because now i had something to occupy my time to keep me from thinking about what was going on with her and that's how it became how it was but um let's see they say midnight in paris smells like black bulgari the hockey puck if it does then i don't want it because i had that fragrance and i didn't like it and i got rid of it quick it was too peppery for me uh what i mean is do you plan on freshies 10 winter fragrances the next two months um or i want to finish my armoff collection and calvin klein <clears throat> georgia gent and that's why you have such a solid base of subscribers the honesty uh scent quest i opened a bottle of invictus aqua and sent it back to fragrance net and they gave me a hundred percent refund i had invictus aqua i found it at tj maxx at matter of fact the same store in fernandina beach florida i walked into i think it was marshall's i think it was it was marshall's and found that it was like $45, but it smelled too much like Dolce & Gabbana light blue to me. And I actually sold it, which was a bonehead move because now I want it again. Just just so I can uh, complete my collection because I still have to get that one and Legend whenever I can you know, find it cheap enough. I didn't like Invictus Aqua at all. Smelled so fake. I didn't like it, but I want it now uh apple juice might smell <laughs> cali reviews if i get over five hours it's basically what i expected from anything extra <clears throat> expect anything extra is a plus yeah that's a that's average for most of my fragrances if i can squeeze out five hours of longevity out of it uh that's that's average for me <clears throat> but if i spend more than 50 bucks especially if i'm in the 90 to two three four hundred dollar range i'm gonna expect way more longevity than five hours period uh centitar fragrance elborn is a great alternative expensive though i've never heard of that one um by happy land i think it's better i don't have that one either they sent me five fragrances but it wasn't any of those uh it, it wasn't that one aramis havana is a nice cheapie that doesn't smell synthetic uh yeah hype really gets to people yeah hype does hype hype will cause people to lose their goddamn minds and be out there trying to find shit that they really don't even need it's not that serious um hype will also 
um, spike prices in fragrances that really shouldn't be that high. I've seen that happen personally. Um, Scent Quest. Yeah, I'm usually trying to see your collection during videos. Just can see the Versace collection on the side. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Realize people was asking more about fragrances on my shelf than the stuff I actually was trying to get rid of. And I wasn't trying to sell anything or trade anything off of my shelves. But I will do an update video on that soon. Just so y'all can see what I have in my collection. Uh, Georgia Gent, but my collection is more entertaining than I am. LOL. I like your collection right now, um, Matt. For real. I mean, yeah, the Zerjoffs and all that stuff is, is nice. It's expensive. I know some of it you won in raffles or waffles, as they call it. But, um, you know, I like I say, I'm a little bit envious of some of your some of your fragrances. I can't afford a lot of that stuff, and you have been generous. And you know, you gave me a decan of Office for Men. You gave me a decan of of your Creed. Um, you know, that's just you know how I am. But um, I like your collection. Cedric Cannon felt this way today, man. At work, damn. Yeah, if you're talking about what I was just talking about with myself, man, try not to let yourself fall into that. Um, try not to let yourself fall into that that abyss, man. Uh, you gotta find something else to occupy your time, man. even if it ain't nothing. But find somebody to talk to that you can trust. Don't just talk to anybody, cause I made that mistake. Uh, just trying to talk to anybody and everybody don't need to know your personal business and obviously I'm over it Which is why I can talk about it now. It still chokes me up a little bit from time to time, but I Think that's something else that a lot of people like about me is that I'm I'm just like you all are I'm not like this big over glorified guy You know what I'm saying sitting on a high chair like Zeus with his lightning bolt. That's not me I'm just like everybody else. I work two jobs. I struggle just like everybody else. I live paycheck to paycheck. I got two bank accounts and one of them is overdrawn like 200 and something dollars right now. So, I mean, I'm just like everybody else. I go through problems. I go through ups and downs like everybody else. I don't have it made. Y'all might see me happy and because I don't let a lot of stuff bother me like it used to. People going to say what they're going to say, and it is what it is. People aren't going to like you. People going to like you. People going to stab you in the back. People going to use you. And most of that stuff is preventable if you choose to make it be preventable. I chose to allow this person to come into my life and treat me like shit. And just because I love that person and I felt like I couldn't do shit on my own, I couldn't make it on my own. I have to have a female. With I don't have to have a female for Jack. Sex is great, but <laughs> I mean, it is what it is at times. And I'm a man and I know guys do that kind of stuff sometimes, but I don't need a female to validate me. So that's why I'm the person that I am now. I don't try to treat all women the same. I know a lot of people tell me, oh man, you mean to everybody. I'm not mean. I just don't tolerate fuckery anymore. I'm not going to let somebody use me. I had a thing for this one chick after the last relationship that drug me through the mud. I met another chick. She was going through the same crap, kind of what I was going through. So I felt like, you know, we had something in common. I actually went out and got a loan and bought this chick a car. She just got out of, out of jail. She had to do some time for something she did, made a mistake. I bought her a car thinking, which was my mistake, thinking that it was going to cause her to like me more and be closer to me. And in the long run, it didn't even work like that because she wasn't even feeling me like that. She just took the vehicle and was doing whatever she was doing and didn't pay me no attention. Yeah, she liked the fact that I was bringing flowers and I was, you know, bringing food and she could call me and pay the phone bill. And I was a fool. I was a straight fool. You won't get that out of me again. So sometimes your mentality has to change. and You have to think more about yourself than you think about other people. My kids first, well, God first, then my kids. 
and everything after that it is what it is but i'm not finna break my neck or kill myself for nobody it's not worth it um, if you ever feel like you want to talk man to man reach out to me um and you can get my phone number and we can talk anytime you feel like you uh let's see i got into fragrances while my mother was dying yeah it's a it's an expensive alternative to you know what i'm saying keeping your mind off of what's really going on in your life um but it, it was an outlet for me I, I was at a point where i couldn't play basketball like i used to uh, my legs are, are bad as hell I'd be walking down the hallway sometimes and my knees would just buckle on my ass. But um, this this actually was a great stress relief for me. And I love fragrances so much. Yeah, sometimes we get sidetracked by other motives. Like, like I said before, I see all these other reviewers getting all this free stuff. And I'm wondering why I'm not getting invited to, you know, events and getting free bottles and stuff like that. But that's the part where I felt like I was like getting derailed from what the real reason behind me getting into fragrances was and i'm back at that now so uh how do you feel about john paul have you owned it i haven't smelled or had that fragrance in my hand at all i've only heard what other people said about it and a lot of those flankers from my understanding some of them aren't worth buying because they smell like the originals um but just for keepsake people buy them just because they got popeye on the front of it or the other one has superman on it or just in general if they want all the fragrances from that jean paul gutier line then they'll just buy all of them and just have all the different bottles displayed i used to try to do that like if I have I have I think like six or seven Versace fragrances I had a few more and I got rid of them but I used to try to buy them like that like buy everything I can find in a store from Versace and then I'll move on to like Calvin Klein find all of his shit and I just got away from that now I just buy what I like I don't buy a whole bunch of shit that I know I'm not going to use um, I have Lamar Superman. I think it's like Popeye. It's kind of like peppermint kind of smells. Yeah. Like I just I just said that um, a lot of that stuff, the flankers are just in different bottles. Uh, handicapped Visions. I never plan on having more than 50 fragrances. I only have 20 and have been doing this for five years. Yeah, some people can get away with that. It's not a bad thing, but some of us we're doing this for different reasons um like i just gave my my story um where i was at in my life and it just was what it was for me uh baltimore big man i still want you to do a holiday fragrance video man listen i thought about that the other day when you mentioned it the first time and i was looking through my collection and i don't really have a lot of holiday type fragrances um, I did have uh, Burberry London, which is a great holiday, you know, type fragrance. Um, I know Tommy Hilfiger has a couple that could be in that holiday thing. I don't have any of those anymore. The only thing I have really that's holiday vibe-ish is home for the holidays by happy land studio and i may have one or two others but i have to dig and see what else i have i haven't forgotten about you though i'm just trying to figure out what i can use um cedric cannon appreciate it yeah man it's no problem i don't know um how you're gonna be able to reach out to me i can give you my email address if you don't have it uh, just let me know when you're ready um, you can email me or you can find me on Facebook uh, and message me through there and we can talk. Uh, we can exchange information through there. I really don't want to give up my phone number on here because 
I got 25 viewers on here, and it, all 25 of y'all be trying to call me at one time and burn my phone up. But um, yeah, I'm, whenever you're ready to take down my information, I give it to you. Um, play once, you're a fool. Play me twice, I'm the fool. Facts. I'm not gonna say it was 100% all hurt because I did allow a lot of this shit to happen to myself. But um, yeah, a lot of that shit, man, I don't tolerate anymore. And female, it's not easy for you to get the same kind of love and affection out of me. You're gonna have to work and you're gonna have to show me that you really gonna be here. If not, it ain't gonna work. We just gonna one and done or we can couple of times and done or, or we can just be, you know, for lack of a better term, as Camouflage said back in the day, fuck friends. Uh, my apartment is so dusty, I have to find a way to keep my bottles cleaner. Yeah, I got to dust my place too, man. It's hard to, to do, especially during the week when I'm working. I could do it on the weekend, but sometimes I'd be so tired. All I want to do is lay down and rest, man. And I want to say this also. I see I'm up to um, 26 viewers. Thank all of you, all 26 of you, and even the ones like Robes08 um, who was here earlier and whoever else that was here that left. I thank each and every one of y'all for sticking around in these videos as long as y'all do. I know sometimes I don't really be talking about much. I just want to come on here and interact with people and get to know people and what you all wore. And what are you into? And y'all want to know the same about me. But I thank all of y'all for, you know, me being able to keep y'all attention this long. This is going on almost a two hour live, uh, two hour long live. And I still got, I just dropped to 25 now. Um, I have this many viewers and y'all are still sticking around. So thank y'all for being so supportive. Um, thumbs up. Alfonso, how about the how about by the fireplace? Yes, I forgot about that. I do have a, a sample of that. I'm not sure if you're the one who sent it to me, but yeah, that's a damn good holiday fragrance. And I like that one a lot. I do have I think I still have some of that left in a decant. And um, I, I do want to say also, um, shout out to all the reviewers, all of them, from everybody up top to everybody down low, um, shout out to everybody. Um, all the people who are out here making moves and um you know coming up with their own fragrances like george zaharoff is doing his thing with his fragrances shout out to him his beard oils and all that other stuff he has clothing line um steven from red adolescence shout out to you for doing your thing um mr smelly he i think he has one called uh gravatis or something like that um, I wish I could get my nose on it, but um, it is what it is. Shout out to him. Shout out to Jeremy Fragrance for doing his thing with Office for Men and his new one. Um, what is it? Date Night for Men or Date for Men or something like that. Shout out to him doing big things. Um, anybody else who has anything in the workings, um, your channel's flourishing. Big ups to everybody. Shout out to all of them everybody i'm not gonna sit here and try to name everybody but shout out to everybody uh baltimore big man i've been putting on a lot of my summer frequencies while it's cold and seeing if it performs any different just a little science project yeah it's off and on cold here like right now it's cold as hell outside but during the day like midday <clears throat> it's warm outside it's like in the like like i want to say 
high 60s early 70s it's still kind of chilly out but it's you know the sun is blazing um which is kind of tricky because you don't want to wear a fragrance in the morning time it's cold as hell like i get up at five and it's cold as hell in the morning time and i put on something heavy like maybe dark rebel rider just to use as you know a fragrance midday come around that has the perfect balance um <clears throat> but yeah i've been trying to test out a few things also but for the most part with a lot of these samples and decants i'm just winging it it's the fragrances just edit the picture of the bottle whilst you're talking i'm not sure what you mean <clears throat> I didn't even know it was this late. I didn't know it was 9 o'clock already. It's 9.22. And then they talking about they want me to come to work in the morning at 4 o'clock to clean some damn carpet. Come on, man. That's what night shift is for. Um, I'll take those temps right now compared to here in Illinois. I bet. I got a sister and a brother on my daddy's side that lives in i think they still live they was in gary indiana is where they were at i don't i'm not sure if they moved to chicago or what but i do have a sister and a brother there and i haven't um i haven't met them i just talked to them over the phone and facebook my brother on, on his side my dad's side um he's an aspire in spot aspiring rapper he does pretty damn good he's a pretty good rapper um and my sister she just has a lot of um medical problems <clears throat> so i want to try and get there and visit them see them for the first time um it's been kind of hard because i haven't been getting you know i haven't been having the money plus the, the last year and i don't think this year i'm gonna get any taxes back either so it's kind of rough But I know uh, she used to tell me how um, Lake, what is, what's Lake, what lake is it there? I forgot what the name of the lake is, but she said the lake freezes over and stuff like that. So it's cold. I know it is. But here it's not that cold. Um, you probably would be here and be outside with a damn t-shirt and, you know, shorts on compared to where you are now. But to me, it's cold as hell outside. I don't even like when the wind blows hard. <clears throat> Michigan, yeah. Lake Michigan. Yep, Lake Michigan. Well, I don't know what else you all have. Um that y'all want to ask any other questions you want to know any other any other um things because i'm running out of topics to talk about and the fragrance i actually was supposed to have been talking about was uh this parfums de marley Orangean, or however you say it um i like it it's not groundbreaking because it does smell similar to some other kind of tobacco smelling fragrances i don't know what's in this i'm just saying what i get off of it it's like an apple pie type vibe but it almost has a tobacco type vibe to it and i got a lot of samples and decants of other fragrances that smell something similar to this um would i buy a bottle of that personally no even if i had the money i probably wouldn't buy it unless i was buying the whole collection but just to buy that particular fragrance, I probably wouldn't. Uh, OFC, we are still watching your live stream. We got love for you, bro. 
Thanks, man. I got a lot of love for a lot of you all, too. All, I think, 1,400 and some odd subscribers that I have, I got love for all of them, except for them jackasses that pop in on occasion that try to troll me and tell me I need to shave my beard and I need to stop cussing. And when I used to do videos in my tank top, they tell me to put a shirt on and shit like that. Like those idiots, I don't, I don't respect them at all. But I guess when you're successful and you get haters, that somebody who doesn't even have a YouTube channel the first or any content on the channel can go on somebody else's comment section and tell them how to do what they do. Why not just get your own channel going and you can prove me wrong otherwise? If you want a clean shave face, then shave your face and do your own channel. If you don't want to wear a tank top, then don't wear a tank top, but you can't tell somebody else what the fuck to do. Um, I will stick with decants for a while. That's my notion too. Once I get to a point where I can, you know, have a little extra money in my pocket, um, I think I'm going to start ordering samples and stuff like that, man. Instead of buying all these bottles, because I have more than enough. I will never in my lifetime be able to wear all of that stuff and use it all up. Never. Even if I started right now wearing just one particular fragrance every single day till the bottle is gone. I probably still wouldn't use all of that in my lifetime. I don't need any more. I mean, if I can do some trades and trade up for some, you know, some higher end stuff, then yeah, I would do that. But for the most part, I'm cool with what I have. The same here. Yeah, man. I think that's that's what I'm going to do. Anything I, I'm interested in now, I'm just going to find samples and decants of. Um, or maybe some subscribers, if they have some stuff, they can send me, you know, samples of decants or whatever they have. Um, or like I said, if somebody want to trade up for something, like if they, you know, if I could put together a package, two fragrances for, you know, one of something else. Like if somebody had a Creed Aventus, even if it was just a partial bottle, I would be willing to trade multiple fragrances for that one. But what you're not going to do is you're not, I'm not trying to shit nobody, but you're not going to shit me in the process. I know how much they cost. I know how much, you know, some of my fragrances may cost, it may be a little lesser, but you know what I'm saying? I think a decent deal is a decent deal. So that's why I didn't ask for a full bottle. If it's a partial bottle, I can understand. But for the most part, I think I'm going to stick with decants from now on, which is a smart move. uh haters come with success keep popping big dog yes sir alfonso killian have a gift set st john's town center at sephora for 50 a good deal here in jacksonville florida florida really well i'll be damned hey um that reminds me, Alfonso, I may be in Jacksonville this weekend. If you available, maybe you can meet up with me somewhere um, and maybe we can do like a, a, a video or something or, you know what I'm saying, just sit and talk. You can get to know me a little bit or we could go to one of your spots, like one of the Sephora or whatever and check out some fragrances together. We can make a little video. That's up to you. But once I hit Florida... I'll let you know where I, where exactly where I am, and maybe you can meet me at the mall, St. John's Town Center, or you know, whatever. I'm up for it. Uh, Scent Quest. I got what I'm pretty sure was a fake Creed Viking from Fragrance Net. They also gave 100% refund for that, plus gave my return shipping back too on that one. Yeah, that's sad if it was fake. I mean, how do you know it was fake, though? I know one indication is you can take the atomizer off, and I think that ring on the inside is supposed to be white or something like that or whatever. I'm not totally sure. I just know that the Himalaya that I have is fake. I know it is. So, 
uh, Baltimore Big Man, I'm out. I'll check you in the morning and see what you got on, on Instagram. All right, brother. Is that Killian New Line? Killian, I don't know how long it's been out, but it's a nice fragrance from Parfums de Marley. I like it. I think that's the one in the red bottle. Cedric. Uh, is Sean John unforgivable? Have that and also Love and Luck by Ed Hardy smells similar to it also. And they both are, I don't want to say clones, but they both smell like Millicene Imperial to me. And I have both of those. I have Love and Luck and um, Sean John Unforgivable. Some people like Unforgivable. Some people don't. They say it smells synthetic and cheap and all that, but I like it. It's not the greatest performer, but it does what it do. Brian Wade at Baltimore, big man. How are they going? How are they doing in the cold weather? Scent Quest, it smells bad. I had a vial of a Creed Viking that was real, and it smelled way better in the vial. It had a white ring. It looked real until I smelled it. Yeah. I smell Viking in um, one of the stores recently, and I like it. Uh, I love CK Shock. CK Shock is fire. That's one of um, Calvin Klein's better fragrances. That one, CK Reveal is good. Um, somebody mentioned some other Calvin Klein fragrance, but I don't know... I had um, CK1, CK All, CKB, CK1. All of those fragrances, they just, to me, didn't last long at all. Um, I like um, CK Shock a lot. I wish I could grow a beard. I'm 23, LOL. It's a lot of work. Trust me. Um, it's a hell of a lot of work, man. I need to trim up now. Uh, shave a little of this down here and, you know, line this up good. But it's a lot of work, man. I have to groom. I have to keep it oiled. I have to keep it washed. I have to moisturize, comb, all that stuff, man. And it gets annoying sometimes. Sometimes I want to shave this shit off. But females love it. Um, my friend, she likes to keep running her fingers through this part of the beard. But uh, Cedric, I have arrows. When I first started, it's too feminine for me. Really? It didn't seem um, feminine to me. It, it was just super sweet, syrupy. A lot of people don't like it. I don't. I don't really get it. I mean, it's mass pleasing, especially for a clubbing scent. Uh, more for the cold weather. It's not for hot weather. But, I mean, if you don't like it, you don't like it. I get it. Everything is not going to be for everybody. Um, I was figuring, you know, how the heat can kill some of the fragrances. Just thought the cold weather might. Uh, just jumped in. Marvin Leach. Um, well, I actually like the fragrance. Um, the Parfums de Marley Oasian, or however you say it, I actually like it. It, it gives off like an apple pie almost kind of vibe. It's not like... Um, Boss Bottle or Boss Bottle Intense. It's not like that. It's a little stronger than that. But it, to me, gives off a little bit of a, I know I'm, I'm this is just my mind speaking. Uh, it gives off like a, some of those tobacco type fragrances. I'm not saying it smells like tobacco, but it has that tobacco type vibe. Um, but I actually like this now. Do I think it's bottle worthy? No. Not for me. Um, maybe if somebody else bought it for me or 
um I got it for free or something like that. But as far as me going out and buying this, I don't I think there are other fragrances that are more in my price range that are similar to this one. But I like it. I really do like it. It's not bad at all. Um hit me up and let me know um if you can give me a sample of it because i've never smelled it i know uh ashton from gent sense talked about it once in a video but he was being sarcastic about it but it smells really really good i like it spirit is a very good fragrance too i like that also but like i said earlier i have one or two other fragrances that smell it smelled very medicinal and old manish but sprayer twice on my neck another time and was totally different scent experience i like it for its difference to what i have in my collection yeah i get you um i have a lot of samples and decants and some of the older ones when i first smelled this when i sprayed it on this morning it my mind rushed back to some of those other decants and samples that I smelled before that smell almost similar to this, except this has a sweet vibe and not the tobacco type vibe, but it kind of gives me a tobacco -y type vibe. Um, I do get the sweetness. I do, I do get that apple pie-ish kind of vibe. I do get that. Um, but like I said, for me, I wouldn't buy, I would buy cologne and, um, What's the other one? It's another one that that Parfums de Marley has that I like too. Layton. I would buy those two before I bought this one, to be honest with you. Uh, all right, y'all. I am about to get off of here because my phone is actually about to die. I'm on like 10 or 15 percent and it's 9.39 and I need to be trying to head back towards the office uh, so so I can clock out. So Thank you all for staying tuned in with me. Thank you all for the love and support for as long as however many of y'all have been here. Uh, I know some people have been. All right, Sentator, I'm going to get at you. Uh, get at me, man, about doing the the um, the collab because I want to do that. Um, thank everybody who has been here from day one of me starting my journey. Thank you all for being here with me through the ups and downs. I know I, I bitched and moaned and complained sometimes about not being treated fairly. Um, I, I want equality across the board for everybody, not just for me, but I want it for everybody. But I understand how the fragrance game works. Um, it's costly for a lot of companies to send out a lot of fragrances and not be getting anything in return. So it is what it is um big smoke best straight up reviews brian wade good night great chat uh alfonso i will hit you on facebook for the weekend okay i'm out of here i'm actually at five percent my phone just the brightness just dimmed down so i'm out of here y'all thanks for tuning in peace